The Ministry of Agriculture, in collaboration with the Taiwan Technical Mission, hosted a training session on the proper cultivation techniques and ways of combating major pests and diseases of five varieties of okra, inclusive of three local varieties and two newly introduced varieties. Okra is one of the focal crops under the second phase of the Seven Crops project, which has the overall aim of reducing the food import bill of St. Lucia. The two newly introduced varieties were carefully selected for their adaptability to St. Lucia's climatic conditions, which will increase yields across the island and are expected to have higher resistance to pests and diseases. Technical production officer attached to the Seven Crops project, Edward Wilson, explains that the project goal is to focus on the diversification of the market and increase cultivation on the farms. We're having an okra training. It's a variety of training. Um, we've invited farmers from around the island, from the different regions, to participate in the training. The focus mainly here is, to, is just the introduction of new varieties. You know we want to have that diversification in the market, uh, what farmers um, are used to, and to introduce some varieties which will cope better with the climatic conditions on island, and that will increase production. For the farmers. In an effort to educate farmers and consumers alike on proper cultivation techniques and nutritional benefits, an okra production manual was published to illustrate how creatively utilize each okra variety. These manuals can be found at the Union Orchid Garden Taiwan Technical Mission Office. We're also trying and publish an okra a production book for a manual, a grain manual, cultivation manual for that, both the green and the red varieties, to show farmers and also consumers how to exactly use the product because um, heating the red variety of okra is not the right way. Of course, if you're heating that, you're going to diminish the nutritional um, aspect of that. So it has to be consumed almost raw. Taking note of continuous success of the Seven Crops project, the Ministry of Agriculture maintains its dedication to improving the St. Lucia agriculture sector by working alongside its development partners to augment research activities and services in an effort to ensure full participation and empowerment of agri-food constituents on the island. From the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, I am Zarek Felix reporting.